everybody, it's Mrs. Bianchi. We're looking at number three. Melba constructs a cube made of glass panels. Each panel has a side length of three-fourths of a foot. What is the total surface area in square feet of the cube? Recall that the formula for surface area of a cube, I have it right here, it is six times the side squared, or I prefer to use an E. Why? Because this kind of looks like the number five when you write it. Surface area equals six times the edge squared, which by the way, the edge squared means the edge times the edge. The edge is a factor twice. So I'm just going to stick a one underneath this just to make it a little more tidy when we do our work. But basically, we're just multiplying these three things together. Now, since we're multiplying these three things together, the idea of commutative property does apply. We could go ahead and order the, and multiply this in any order that we want. But if we Sometimes you might see this in parentheses. So if you ever see this in parentheses, just the suggestion is that you square it first. So if we're going to focus on that idea of squaring first, 3 times 3 would give us 9, and 4 times 4 would give us 16. And we have to take that number and multiply it by this number, which is 6. And remember, 6 is the same thing as 6 over 1. All right, so surface area equals... Now, we can reduce before we multiply, or we can reduce after. I'm going to suggest we reduce before, just to keep the numbers more what I call user-friendly. Think of a factor that 6 and 16 share, and 2 comes to mind for me. So if we divide by 2, this divided by 2 would give us this. This divided by 2 would give us this. So the only thing left you have to do is figure out what 3 times 9 is, and that'll be your numerator. 1 times 8, that'll be your denominator, and then see if that's a choice. And of course, you can always uh, rename that as a mixed number as well. All right, good luck finishing that up.